Hi and welcome to another video. In this video we'll be looking at the AI protection that comes with the Asus uh, router. Um, as, as we all know it's supposed to be uh, quite good. Um, so what it actually gives you there as you can see on the uh, screen is it gives you network protection um, so that underneath that you have the uh, router security assessment um, malicious site blocking, two-way IPS and infected device prevention and blocking so this is quite good so if you have a look it's blocking a lot of the phishing, spam and adware, uh, ransomware attacks and then uh, DDoS attacks and spam but also vulnerabilities that you might have um, if you've got downloaded ransomware and the uh, two-way IPS as it says here blocks um, intercepts um, inbound and uh, outbound um, outgoing packets for infected devices and things like that and then also number three has infected device prevention and blocking so you can see from the prevents from botnets and zombie attacks and that steal your personal information from your devices so all in all it's actually a quite good uh, um, rundown of what it does and also it's powered by trend micro so they're a big company as well so as you can see i'm going to do a quick test here so i just want to show here um what the actual um limitations are of this system um so it's not a hundred percent secure so don't rely on this um and don't think oh because i have you have this on the uh, router that you don't need antivirus software if you're running a windows or mac or anything like that um, it's 100% you still need antivirus software this doesn't protect you from everything and as we'll see it does have a, a big limitation on what it can do so the first example as you can see I've already um, tested it and it's got there a 2 under miscellaneous site blocking and 2 way IPS so I'll just quickly show you what I was doing this is um, a test uh, virus so this is a standard one it's not really a virus it's just a test so as you can see here I'm actually loading it up um, not in a secure page so it's not HTTP um, S it's just HTTP so it means it's not secure as it says here um, in the browser so if we go to click collect uh, click on download so as you see here and it says warning so it does get blocked so uh, the router is actually identifying it and has uh, has blocked the the actual uh, thing you can see here and also you can see within the screen here you can see that on here you can see that you can whitelist but also you can see actual the dashboard within the router has um, identified that um, when it, and it's actually blocked it and it shows you here it's blocked it as well um, so that's good so if we just go back and then again if we try and download um, we can download the uh, zip file and we'll see if that blocks that so yes it's uh, even the, the virus is in the zip file it might be because of the naming but also it's blocked it so that's quite good um, so as we can see here it's uh, the numbers are going up so it's seen you can show the blocking so the malicious sites you can see that's gone up to three now it tells you what the source the PC is what the threat was and what the time and the website and also external attacks and you can see that we tried to download the um, the test virus there so that does actually show on there and it is working so that's really good um, as we can see so it is going up the numbers um, so it's identifying them see the one limitation as you can see here this is uh, not secure as well so if we go back and now test this um, we're using a secure connection so like most websites now nowadays they have HTTPS um, so you when you come to download the file it you will be secure so you'll have that padlock um, so now more and more since Google try to implement more safety majority of uh, websites are secure um, so now you can see this is going to be downloaded using the SSL or HTTPS 
Um, so you can see here now, so if I go and click on the same file, but this is downloading it via uh, HTTPS, the uh, secure version, so it's encrypted. So if I go there, the connection, and that's it, I, I've downloaded it. Um, the, the router hasn't stopped it or um, done anything, so we can try again, use the text version, and it allows us to load up the text version. And then the same one we did last time, the zip file. And we downloaded it fine. We downloaded it, allowed it straight through the router security. And um, as we see here, if we reload here. Again, it hasn't identified um, us or stopped us um, downloading the secure version because this one is done by HTTPS that's this encrypted connection to this website from our computer to their computer or their server um, so that means that the the protection here can't identify it can't intercept it and understand it so of course it doesn't know what's there and will not block the um, the file so this is the, the very big limitation here is that majority of websites now are, are running uh, secure HTTPS and you'll find that so in, in majority of the cases this is irrelevant now so on the malicious sites and everything else so we've got here so now it also as it mentions here it's got a two-way IPS for blocking malware and things like that um, so if your PC is infected or you've got a, a device as it says there uh, infected device prevention and blocking so again we'll see if this works um, I'm going to now close this so here I've got some samples of some ransomware um, and some Trojan files again please don't down try and look for these or download them because these are real viruses and uh, and uh, malware and uh, so they, they will work uh, this ransomware will, will will destroy your computer and encrypt everything so uh, don't try and do this so first again these ones are you know quite considerably old so if I just uh, extract this so now we're going to move on to uh, testing the two-way IPS and the infected device prevention and blocking um, as we saw before in the uh, virus test um, if it was if you were accessing or accidentally downloaded the virus um, using HTTPS um, so an encrypted or secure connection uh, to the website like most websites are um, the actual router won't actually pick this up and will still allow you to download the virus so that's why it's very important you always have virus protection installed on your computer Windows or Mac um, so of course we'll now test this to see if it does actually help to block um, any outgoing connections or if it actually detects anything um, or via the two-way IPS or anything else or any parts of the security so we'll try the uh, Petra first so running this ransomware um, I didn't expect the router to stop anything going out as a connection because normally they're secure and uh, it did run on the computer um, but also it crashed and then when I restarted it it did encrypt everything and nothing showed on the dashboard I hope you found this uh, video helpful uh, thanks for watching